Change happens regularly when you're bidding on your projects. Sometimes you want to provide additional options, and sometimes the project scope is changed by others, and you must adjust your bid accordingly. Luckily, it's easy to create alternates and change orders within on-screen takeoff to help you deal with changes simply and efficiently. To create an alternate or a change order from within the bid, navigate to the Conditions window on the left side of the screen, and then select the Bid View tab along the top. Then, click on the blue plus sign down at the very bottom left, just like you do when adding a new condition. From there, you'll indicate if you want to add an alternate or a change order. Note that the process of creating an alternate or a change order is identical within on-screen takeoff. The biggest difference in OST is merely the label applied to the record. Once you make your selection, a new cover sheet opens. This cover sheet is not nearly as detailed as the cover sheet for the base bid. Here, you're only documenting what is changing to the bid, but all the other details, and just as importantly the images, are already documented in the original cover sheet. On that note, you do not need to reload images for an alternate or a change order. You'll use the same plans from your base bid. So the only things you need to add here are an alternate or change order name, perhaps an associated number, and any relevant notes. One other thing to note is that the alternate or change order also picks up the bid areas from the base bid, so again, you don't have to recreate those either. Click OK to create your alternate or change order record. The record now displays within the bid view tab on the left side of the screen under either the alternate or change order category heading, depending upon which record type you created. The other thing you should notice is that the image you are looking at is now blank. All of the takeoff has been cleared. However, that takeoff still exists on the base bid record, so don't panic. You simply now have a blank slate on which to create your alternate or change order. This applies to all of the images in the plan set, not just the one you were on when you created the record. To move back to the base bid, use the bid view dropdown at the top of the screen and select the original bid from the dropdown. This field is the easy way to move back and forth between the base bid and all of the alternates and change orders associated with the job. When on the base bid record, you can go to the conditions panel to the left and see all of the conditions and their quantities on that sheet. If you go to the alternate or change order record, none of those conditions initially display. So there are a few things you can do now to begin performing takeoff. The first thing is to create conditions in the exact same manner you did in the base bid by pressing the blue plus sign in the bottom left and creating your conditions from scratch. If the item you're creating in this record doesn't exist at all in your base bid, this is the best option. However, if the conditions you want to use within the alternate or change order already exist within the base bid, you can simply copy and paste either specific takeoff in the base bid or the conditions themselves from the base bid. To do this, first, go back to the base bid. Let's copy takeoff first. So, select the specific takeoff you want to copy. You can select as many items as you want from the sheet. Right click and select copy. Then, navigate back to the alternate or change order record. Right click on the sheet, and then select paste. You can then click and drag to move the pasted takeoff into place. Notice now that not only does the takeoff display on the image, but the conditions also now display on the left with the pasted quantities. The best example of when to use this is if you're replacing an item with a different item, but using the same layout. For example, if I was going to replace all my two hour rated walls with one hour rated walls, or all of my acoustical ceilings with drywall ceilings, or something to that effect. In that scenario, you'd copy and paste from the base bit in the exact manner just described. However, there's a few extra steps to account for the removal of all of the original item and replacing it with a new item. In this scenario, let's assume you already copy the takeoff from your base bid. So back in the alternate or change order record, you would then paste the takeoff. However, you actually need to paste the takeoff twice. One of these pieces of takeoff will be reassigned to the new condition, while the other will serve as a credit to note the removal of the original item's quantities from the bid. Let's start by reassigning the first bit of copied takeoff to the new condition. Before doing this, make sure the new condition has already been added to your conditions list. Then, select the takeoff you want to reassign. Next, right-click on the condition to which you want to reassign the takeoff from the conditions panel on the left, and select Reassign Objects from the right-click menu. A pop-up displays asking you to confirm your choice. Select Yes. This then reassigns all of the takeoffs selected on the image to the condition on which you right-clicked. Over on the left, 
you should now see an identical amount of the original condition and the new condition. But remember, the idea here is you're replacing the original condition with the new condition. So we need to do something with that quantity of the original condition. So go ahead and find the takeoff for the original condition. If it's multiple pieces, you can always right click on the original condition from within the conditions panel and then choose Select Objects from the menu. That selects every piece of takeoff for that condition on the current page. Then, right click on the screen and choose Count as Negative Quantity. You can see now that the original quantity displays with a negative quantity within the conditions panel on the left. This then acts as a credit for the quantities of that original condition that was replaced and reconciles that against the positive quantities still present in the base bid. This allows for a clear audit trail of all changes represented within the alternate or change order record. The example we just looked at works well so long as the layout in the alternate or change order is identical to the layout in the base bid, and you're just replacing one item with another. But what if you have to work within a different layout? Well, in that case, Rather than copying the drawn takeoff, you can simply copy and paste the conditions into the alternate or change order record, and then draw the new takeoff from there. To do this, go back to the base bid once again. Navigate to the conditions panel on the left, and select all of the conditions you want to copy by holding down the control key, and then left clicking on them. Once you have all the necessary conditions selected, right click, and then choose copy. Now switch back over to the alternate or change order record. Once there, right click into the conditions panel and select paste. Now the conditions exist in your alternate or change order and you can draw takeoff accordingly. This is obviously much faster than recreating all of the conditions again from scratch. Once you've completed drawing your new takeoffs, you can navigate to the takeoff tab along the top of the screen. Notice that the quantities displaying here are the quantities relevant only for the record within which you are currently working. So in this case, is displaying only for your alternate or change order record, rather than quantities for the entire job. You can use the same bid view dropdown at the top of the screen to navigate between the base bid and any associated alternates or change orders to change which quantities display within the takeoff tab. This allows you to print or export the quantities for each record separately. Now, let's look at how a bid with alternates and change orders displays back on the bids tab. Any bid that has associated alternates or change orders displays in bold. These jobs also have a plus site expand icon to the left of them. If you select that icon, you can then see all of the alternate and change order records for that job listed out beneath it. You can select the expand icon again to minimize the list. When you are ready to accept an alternate or change order, simply single click on its record and then open its cover sheet. The same cover sheet you saw earlier displays again. Now note the accepted checkbox at the top. Select that and then press OK. The icon to the left of the record now displays with a checkbox to indicate that particular alternate or change order was accepted. Please note that even if you accept an alternate or change order, there is no system at on-screen takeoff to reconcile all those quantities into the base bid. The quantities are always kept separate with an on-screen takeoff. However, if you use our quick bid estimating software and accept the alternates or change orders in that system, the quantities can be reconciled there.